Hey guys, I wanted to pop back in here before our next special guest comes on to ask you a question. Can you confidently share the gospel with someone? Like if somebody asks you at the gym or at the pickleball court, hey, what does that I am second bracelet mean? Can you easily say at a moment's notice how Jesus is our savior and made it possible for us to have eternal life in heaven? I think if we're really honest with ourselves, most people would say, no, I, I'm not confident. And as a result, they don't share the gospel. They don't share their story and how God changed their lives. But that can change. Our next special guest is someone who can help you confidently share the gospel. And our executive producer, John Humphrey, has the interview. Thanks, Christina. And joining me here at our Hope Center set is Josh Spinks, who heads up the training division for E3 Partners and I Am Second. Josh, thanks for sitting in with us here oh, today. Thank you all for having me today. I appreciate it. Okay, you came here from where today? Uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, okay. God's country. Okay. So most everybody who thinks about I Am Second thinks about the films, it thinks about the merch, it thinks about maybe some next steps that we have historically had. But recently we've been adding more and more training opportunities for people to the website. So, you know, we t in fact, we're talking today on I Am Second Day about sharing your story and sharing God's story. What does that mean in your context? Man, so I get to work with churches across the U.S. And what we're finding over and over and over again, not just through interaction, but just through research, is that your typical believer is not sharing their faith on a consistent basis. But once we empower them with simple tools for multiplying their prayer life and then, of course, multiplying the gospel, man, they're empowered and encouraged to get out there and share the gospel uh, with frequency. And so man, as we traverse the country and we work with churches and, uh, and believers, we're seeing that once they get a little, a little training, a little nudging, that we just kind of turn them loose and let them uh, work in the power of God in the communities where they're planted. So you say people aren't feeling confident and they're not sharing the gospel. What's keeping people from doing that? There is two primary pain points that we, we run into when we uh, are working with believers. And one of those is they just lack a know-how. They just don't know how to communicate the gospel in a clear and concise way, just in simple conversation. And so we wanna do our best to just give them some simple tools so that when they're sitting down at a table like this at a coffee shop, that they can easily just start a gospel conversation with a friend or even with a complete stranger. And so once we empower them to do that, uh, like I said, those roadblocks come down and then they have the confidence they need uh, to share the, the greatest story that man has ever known, which is the beauty of the gospel. And so we have practitioners and trainers all over the country who are going to serve the local church and offering these trainings in person. But also you can find these tools at our website. You can go onto our website and you can see a two minute video, a three minute video that will give you some simple uh, easy steps so that you can become proficient in sharing the gospel. So if someone is interested in these simple tools, how can they go ahead and be trained with them? Well, that's a great question. And so the best way to do that is just to contact us through our website, whether that is e3partners.org or through I Am Second or even the Made to Multiply training arm of the organization. And when you do that and you fill out a form, we get that form and we deploy coaches to your community, to your church. And guess what? We train for free. Find us on the internet, fill out a form, and we'll come with our best and brightest to serve you at no cost. What results have you seen from these trainings? So I could literally spend all day telling you one story after the next, after the next, after the next. But what we celebrate the most is when we see a church or a group of people get lit up around these tools. It's after that training when you start to see a rhythm in the life of a believer or you see a rhythm in the life of a church where they're constantly out sharing the gospel, whether that's with their circle of influence or with complete strangers. And then after they share the gospel with them, we see them immediately step into a relationship of discipleship. So one part of the body of Christ are the believers on college campuses. What are you seeing on the college campuses and how can I'm second and E3 go ahead and assist there? 
just this past weekend, one of our trainers was at a college campus and he had a, a room full of college kids who, who follow Jesus, but they want to see what they can do to reach out to some of their classmates, to some of their friends and share the love of Christ with them. And so these, I forget how many was in there, but this group of kids, they were equipped and then they were sent out to their campus to share the gospel. And lo and behold, guess what happens? People become interested. People say, hey, I want what you have, please. I want a story like that. And one of the big things that we're, we're using to try to bring awareness to this training in the, on the college campuses are our Team Second, which is some, some of uh, these college athletes who are wearing the brand of I Am Second and really pushing uh, to bring awareness to their college college campus about how simple it is to share the gospel and multiply disciples in one of the darkest areas in our country, which is the college campus. So God is at work in the college campuses. God is at work in the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Until he comes back and gets us. Josh, thanks for what you do for I'm Second E3 Partners and for the kingdom. Yeah. Thanks. Back to you. Some of you may be asking, where did he learn and practice this stool? And it was actually at a training conducted by I Am Second. So if you think that all I Am Second does is produce films, which we do, then you are actually only experiencing a slice of our purpose as a digital media ministry. It is to point you in the direction of sharing God's story with others. It's why we're asking you to go from viewing to doing. Just think how God can use you and I Am Second if we're doing it together. So join with us today. Share an I Am Second film, or your personal testimony, or the gospel itself with others. And if you can't do that, consider supporting I Am Second financially. Just go to IamSecond.com for all the details. Bye for now, and we'll see you again soon.